The Israeli public service minister approved steps today that would make it easier, we're told, for civilians, for Israeli civilians to obtain gun permits. Do you think Israeli citizens should be defending the streets with more guns uh, uh, on their sides, armed? Uh, absolutely. There's no problem with that issue whatsoever. The more uh, Israelis that are walking around with pistols, that is important that the members of the public can also respond and react. Let's not forget that just over a week ago, a Palestinian 18-year-old woman stabbed an Israeli man in the back of his neck in the old city. He pulled out his weapon, he responded, and he shot that Palestinian woman who was in fact taken to hospital in serious condition. So it is effective. Every Israeli walking around with a pistol has gone through three years of IDF training and therefore there's no problem whatsoever. Uh, apart from the uh, individuals that are walking around and personal uh, security officers that are also in and around the streets that supports the general security that's taking place in coordination with the Israeli National Police. So you're saying that Israeli citizens, uh, not only in Jerusalem and Tel Aviv, all over the country should start packing weapons right now, walking around with pistols? What I'm saying is that people who have, uh, who have pistols and who can walk around in the streets with uh, weapons, there's no problem with that whatsoever. Everyone is well trained, has gone through three years of IDF service, reliable, responsible, has gone through training. And yes, it's an important step in the same way as many years ago there were individuals and security guards outside every restaurant, central bus stations. One of the plans is to heighten security also on public buses as well. So there'll be a uh, private security response on buses and public transport. At this stage, we're taking every step necessary, both in public areas and national security, in order to make sure that the situation stays under control. Well, one final question, uh, Mickey, before I let you go. Aren't you concerned, though, it's one thing for police, military to walk around with weapons, but it's another thing for civilians simply to be walking around with weapons. Some of them may be trained, some of them not so well trained. Aren't you concerned that they might simply shoot before they really know for sure that there's a danger? There are very strict uh, firing orders when one is allowed to open fire, both for the Israeli police as well as for citizens. One is only allow allowed to open fire when you're in a life-threatening situation. But unfortunately, what we've seen over the last 10 days is uh, sporadic attacks that have taken place in many cities around the country. And therefore, at this moment in time, we have to make sure that heightened security continues. Uh, people that are walking around with their own personal weapons and lots of Israeli national police, border police and undercover units that are working in different areas is essential. The rapid response of our police officers has prevented Israelis from being injured or even killed. And this will continue as long as necessary until the situation calms down.